Welcome back to the channel everyone. This video is all about the peptic ulcer drugs which falls under gastrointestinal system. I apologize for not being regular on my channel because I was facing my editing software problem since very long days. Uh, so in this topic we will mainly discuss about the classification of drugs and in next part we will discuss about treatment approach of drugs, mechanism of action, adverse effect and uses. Hello, Namaste, all our previous viewers. Welcome to my channel, Med Gossip SD. I am Subhas. The main objective of this channel is we bring basic medical and clinical science topics, explanation with the related diagrams, much as possible, and frequently asked exam oriented questions of that related topic. So make sure you hit that red button of subscription and the bell icon so that you could never miss the updates. So, classification of peptic ulcer drugs. There are mainly two types. They are pharmacological treatment and non-pharmacological treatment. First, let's discuss about pharmacological treatment. The drugs are mainly classified. Number one, reduction of gastric acid secretion. Number two, neutralization of gastric acid. Number three, ulcer protectives. And number four, anti h pylori drugs. Now, talking about non-pharmacological treatment, we use basically home remedies. Now, first discuss about the pharmacological treatment. In pharmacological treatment, we will discuss now reduction of gastric acid secretion. In this topic, the drugs are classified mainly into four types, but now the, in this slide, we will talk as to antihistaminics and proton pump inhibitors. The drugs which falls under S2 antihistaminics are semitidine, ranitidine, famotidine and roxatidine whereas in proton pump inhibitors the drugs are omiprazole, lansoprazole, pantoprazole, rebiprazole and esomiprazole. Number 3 we have anticholinergics and number 4 we have prostaglandin analog. In anticholinergics the drugs fall are pyrenzepine, propanthaline and oxyphenonium whereas in 4 prostaglandin analog the drug is misoprostol. Next main topic of pharmacological treatment we have neutralization of gastric acid which is also known as antacid. They are divided mainly into two types they are systematic and non-systematic. Now let's talk about the drug which fall under systematic. They are sodium bicarbonate and sodium citrate whereas in non-systematic the drugs are magnesium hydroxide, magnesium trisilicate, aluminium hydroxide gel, magnesium hydroxide and calcium carbonate. So number 3 and number 4 of pharmacological treatment we have ulcer protectives and anti h pylori drugs. The ulcer protectives drugs are sucralfate and colloidal bismuth subsalicyclate. Whereas in number 4 anti h pylori drugs, the drugs fall under this category are amoxicillin, cladithromycin, metronidazole, tinidazole and tetracycline. Finish the pharmacological treatment. Now let's talk about the non-pharmacological treatment which can be done on the home also by using simply steps. Some of the remedies are avoid hurry, spicy and chilly foods, maintain proper routine of food intake and avoid stress. I need support to grow so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you could never miss the updates and stay tuned for part 2 which is mechanism of action of these drugs. Now last but not the least let's discuss about the questions which may be asked from the topic. The question are classify anti peptic ulcer drugs and it may also be asked as short notes on classification of drugs.